by your seat. Today, Sonia and I are going to one of the excursions. Bless you. <laughs> We decided to be a little bit different this year and attend some of the excursions that we didn't attend before. When you live in a place, you stop feeling like a tourist and this time we decided to visit some of the attractions that for many, many years while living here we never visited. And today we're going to Svirska Ushelia. It's basically a mountain river and it's more than that. And I will show you and tell you more about it when we get to the place. But before we went to the Svir Gorge, we stopped at the cheese farm, where the owners walked us through the process of making their homemade adagay cheese, including the smoking process. And of course we got to taste it as well, which was super delicious. After that, at the same farm, we did honey tasting. We tried a few types of local honey there and finished off the experience with Medavucha, which is a traditional Slavic honey beverage with a sweet, mildly alcoholic taste. Places like this are so touristy, but in small amounts, I love them so much. Sonia made me do this, so here we are at the tea plantation and we are about to taste the local tea and some confitures. So, let's go! This is the tea plantation where they pick up the tea. By the way, Sochi is the only city in Russia where they grow their own tea because of the soft subtropical climate. Я тоже на это надеюсь. Пошли дальше, я боюсь змей. And finally, after all the tasting was finished, which, as a little spoiler for you, was the best part of the excursion, we headed to the Swear Gorge. We are now going to the Swir Gorge. We are about to see the waterfall and also a place where we can swim, like a little, I don't know how to say it, like bath where you can swim. But it looks like the river is really dry. I can hear the waterfall, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be there. We were warned that it not, might not be there. But either way, I'm looking forward to see it. We entered the Swir Gorge. The path towards the waterfall went through a narrow gorge with really tall marl rocks and the moss covered stones gave this place a true majestic look, especially with the combination of the river flowing at the bottom. And there was the waterfall. The Svir waterfall is the most famous part of the Svir gorge and here is how it looks. It's 7 meters tall and falls into a deep pool where everyone can swim. And the water temperature, like in any mountain river, is quite cool. Also, the rocks rising above the waterfall create a semicircle, leaving only a narrow strip of light, which makes this place a bit dark and not so inviting for swimming. So, we left pretty soon. The waterfall was a disappointment, but still it's a great place to visit because, first of all, it's very green and also the way to reach the waterfall is really, really nice, kind of extreme, especially if uh, uh, the water was high. So worth it, but not to see the waterfall, just to have like an um, adventurous walk to the mountain river.
and probably the worst idea of today was wearing a swimsuit i'm already wearing the swimsuit uh, and i brought clothes to change with me but i should have done it the other way but good thing this is not the end of our excursion we have one more thing that we're going to right now it's gonna be dalmin but uh, we have a feeling that it's gonna be a complete as well <laughs> This place is beautiful. This spot was definitely worth coming here all the way. And I really hope this tree helps to carry this rock. All of these white ribbons, if you didn't notice, are the wet wipes. Ew. Then we finally saw the dolmen, the reason why we stopped at this place. Dolmens in general are ancient megalithic structures, often associated with burial or ritualistic practices of ancient civilizations. In the case of Volkonsky dolmen, it is believed to date back to the Bronze Age, though some scientists think it might be even older and its purpose may have been linked to the cultural and spiritual practices of the people who constructed it. However, the lack of written records from that time makes it challenging to determine the precise function of Volkonsky Dolmen, leaving room for various interpretations and ongoing archaeological research. So, our excursion has come to an end and we've had better excursions <laughs> it wasn't that bad but it was one of the boring ones we liked the tasting points it was okay also the road to the swear gorge was interesting except the actual swear gorge because it wasn't the right season to visit it but even if the season was right i still cannot imagine how this place can be so amazing and have like a excursion dedicated to it Anyways, the history of the dolmen was interesting as well. The dolmen itself was kind of like, okay, I guess. But overall, time well spent. We don't regret it. It was a good time spent together with my sister. And stay tuned, guys, because in two days, we're going to another interesting excursion. Today we're starting our second excursion and this time we brought mom and my aunt Larissa with us. And as you can see, we are at the tea plantation, the same tea plantation that we've been before two days ago, um, doing exactly the same thing. Some parts of these excursions are going to be the same. I think it's going to be the tasting part because we're going to the same region and I assume they have exactly the same uh, tea plantations and just the same touristy places where you can taste <laughs> all these things uh, but this time we're also gonna have a wine tasting which is exciting <laughs> but anyways uh, i don't mind that there will be similar things like the tasting parts because it was the best part of the previous excursion anyways but the overall excursion is gonna be a little bit different it's called 33 waterfalls so we're supposed to see 33 waterfalls <laughs> let's see how many of them are gonna be dry i know it's dry season so not the best time to see the waterfalls um, but out of 33 waterfalls at least some of them should be working right mm -hmm. Our second stop of the day is the cheese and wine tasting. Uh 
смотреть. Ну-ка. Вкусно? I didn't like any of the wines that we tasted today. Sonia? Sonia liked cha-cha. <laughs> Which is re really rare for me because I always like wine. This is my favorite alcohol drink ever. But not today. Following the wine tasting, we got to see how they craft local adagay cheese again, with the degustation afterwards, of course. But personally, I found the process and the overall experience at the previous location a bit better. I liked the cheese at our previous excursion way better. Now, after all the tasting is done, we are about to jump into this car. And on this car, from here, we are gonna go towards the waterfalls. And now, the most interesting part begins. To reach the waterfalls, we had to drive through the river in this open and super old car. The ride took about 20 minutes, and every minute was just a torture. I don't know why they thought it would be cool to be splashed with cold water and covered in dust at the same time. It was also tough to hold on to the car as it was shaking a lot. If you get car sick easily, then God bless you. Fortunately, my phone has excellent stabilization, so you can see the real picture of how shaky it was. And actually, the idea to cross the mountain river in the car was great, but the execution of it sucked. But to be honest with you, all four of us laughed so much from this experience, so I guess it was all worth it in the end, right? We're not gonna see all 33 waterfalls in one day, but we are probably gonna see like 10 or 15 because to see all 33 of them, you gotta climb really high up and we don't have much time for that. And here's the waterfall number one out of the 33. The 33 Waterfalls is a natural attraction known for a series of cascading waterfalls along the Agura River in the Sochi National Park. The number 33 signifies the total count of waterfalls along the route, but only about 13 waterfalls are open for visiting. The rest are more challenging to access because there are no wooden paths leading to them, and the mountain landscape is very difficult to climb. The best time to see the waterfalls would be in spring. That's when they are super strong, the rivers are wild and everything is getting all green. But in the summer, the waterfalls losing most of their intensity and the area tends to be more crowded with people. And I actually liked this place a lot. The surroundings were super beautiful and I'd like to revisit it when the waterfalls aren't as dry. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the actual place. It's just the organization of this trip to the waterfalls was pretty terrible. To go this way towards the waterfalls, you gotta take this side and on the way back you're taking the opposite side. And this uh, stairs looks a little bit crazy at the moment. As a recovery from our two past horrible excursions, they were absolutely horrible, but whatever, no regrets, at least now we know 
that we shouldn't be taking any excursions anymore. We haven't done any in 15 years and <laughs> nothing changed since then. Like the level of customer service stayed the same and everything stayed the same. So no more excursions for us. If we want to visit some touristy places, we're just gonna get a transportation and get there ourselves without all this uh, all included package. But anyways, today, Sonia and I went on a mountain river. In the last two places we weren't be able to swim and we really want to swim in the mountain river. So here we are. We came to the place where we usually have our family picnics. You can check this video out here and also this one. This one, ignore the recipe. If you like our family picnics, watch this video because this one is my all-time best made video from our family picnic. So check it out and today Sonia and I are not gonna have a picnic we are only gonna swim here and just feel the fresh mountain river so you can join us for this little adventure you can tell that it's been a really dry period in Sochi all this used to be a river before sometimes more sometimes less but right now you can only see a tiny little stream of water and overall everywhere you can see that it's a dry place now it hasn't been raining for more than a month but our favorite spot where we usually swim is still full of water not as crazy as it used to be before but still swimmable so we are super excited to dive into the water but this part will be a lot shallower than normal so we gotta be really careful The water in these rivers is so much colder than the sea, but for some reason we love swimming in these rivers much better than the sea. And unfortunately, on any of the excursions, we weren't able to swim. I warned you. I warned you. <laughs> I said to, before the first excursion something like, maybe let's go to the river, it will be better. No, you don't know. We yeah, go we all were like, yeah, let's go to excursion. We didn't like the first one, but second one will be great. I'm telling you, it will be great because 33 waterfall excursion is amazing. <laughs> but <laughs> but I said no. You have this bad experience. The second will be worst. No, I just said no. Yeah, well, I know better than you. We should go to the excursion. <laughs> we all agreed to go, except you. So except you me. were like a little bit forced to go with us, but no regrets, at least. <laughs> no, my regrets. Part. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> I mean, for you. Probably for I'm me. saying that because I'm gonna be here for two more months and you're leaving in basically two days, so sorry, Sonia. Okay, I will think about this. 